Hey guys, it's Brownie with Eternal Harvest, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Craig jig. Stick around. I've had some questions about how to use a Craig jig, so I thought I'd run through a couple steps for you. Hopefully it's helpful. Okay, so if you're a newbie woodworker, then you know that there are different thicknesses of wood that you can pocket joint or pocket hole joint together. And the Craig jig creates those pocket holes so that you can screw the two pieces together to create a joint. Um, I'm gonna show you on here, and what's really nice about this is it can accommodate many different thicknesses. Um, on this side here, you'll see, let me see if I can focus. Okay. So on your Craig jig, you will see that there are some numbers here. Mine is very well loved, as you can see. Some numbers here and some numbers here. These represent the thicknesses of your stock. So you have half inch, five eighths, three quarter. I'm gonna stop at the three quarter, that's where I have it set right now, which would be my one by whatever stock. And you set it here, and you wanna close your clamp. And I am too short, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm one handed right now though. So. And you wanna clamp in there. And you need to set it up. I like to set it up so that it's right there so the pocket hole will go right in the middle of the one by. Okay, so I've got my one by two locked in there and your Craig jig should come with two other pieces. It should come with your drill bit here and this bit here, which has just a square tip for their screws. So on this drill bit, you're gonna need to move this nut up or down depending on the thicknesses of your piece. So that is where the numbers on top here help you out as well. That's how you're gonna set the depth of this gauge or this, this nut here. Now we're doing three quarter inch stock. So we're gonna wanna set the end of this drill bit right here, which means this nut needs to move up. It's a little short. So you should get a hex, a hex uh, piece of tool as well with it. You're gonna use that to unscrew this here. And once that's loose, you're gonna set it right at that three quarter inch spot. Use that hex piece to tighten the nut back up. Make sure it's good and tight in there. And that's it. Now you can hook this up to your drill and you're gonna go ahead and screw your pocket. Okay, I just got this into my drill. Okay, once, as you're drilling down, as you're drilling down into the Craig jig, when this nut hits here, you're there, pull back out. And I like to keep the drill going so you can bring out all the extra shavings, doesn't cause any problems. And there you've got a nice pocket hole. Now at this point, you would change your drill bit out to this guy, and you would use the recommended screw for that. For this, I think it's one and a quarter inch screws. Craig Jig has their own screw line as well. Craig Jig has their own screw line as well. So one and a quarter inch for soft or plywoods. Coarse thread is what I have on hand. So that's what I would use for this piece. So now I'm gonna go ahead and reset it for my one and a half inch stock. And it's the same exact process. You're gonna unscrew this piece here on the front. And you're gonna look at these numbers on the side. You're gonna find your, you go past one inch, up to one and a half. When you're there, screw that back in, set it down. Now, because this is a thicker piece, you're gonna need to adjust this again. It's gonna need to go back down. Stick your piece right in there, it's still too tight. Right like that, okay? Now we're gonna need to adjust this bit again. And here's my one and a half inch spot. So I'm gonna take my hex piece here. I'm gonna loosen this nut. Stick that back in there. And go right, there we go. Right up to that one and a half would be the top. 
And tighten that back down again. There's a B. <laughs> okay, go ahead and tighten that down again. Okay, now my drill bit is set. My thing right here is set. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the pocket hole right about there. There you go, sweet little pocket hole. Ready to go. I'm gonna show you really quickly how you would attach pieces. I have my one and a half inch stock here. You need to change the drill bit out to this guy. Find the right size screw. I have a two inch screw on hand. Typically I'd use two and a half with this one and a half inch stock. This is what I've got, just to give you an idea. You would take, to create this joint, you would take this piece and line it up where you want it to be. I like to dab a little glue on the end in between the two joints. I'm not gonna do that now, just for observational purposes. You can use clamps to hold these down. Using clamps would be a little easier than using your hands at the moment, and I'm trying to do the camera at the same time, but you get the gist. Now you have a really strong joint right here, especially with glue, once the glue dries, it works out really great. As usual, let me know if you have any questions with how to use the Craig Jig system. I'm sure I didn't use all the correct terms <laughs> throughout that process. But I've been using this for about five and a half years at this point, and I love the Craig Jig system. Works really well, creates a really strong joint. There are other methods that are considered more fine joinery um, and fine woodworking, but this works really well if you're in a bind and you need to go fast, and it's also structurally, it does a great job. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me put out new videos and also feel free to comment with things you'd like to see on my channel.